welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys and this is actually take two of this video because take one was diabolically bad and I'm not talking about the lighting or the sound even though there is a train rolling past right now I am talking about me so hopefully this time things will go a little bit better um, or not. I don't know what is going on with my hair today so let's just ignore that as well. But anyway, today I am doing a haul because I have spent a ridiculous amount of money on Topshop and ASOS and I thought I would lump the two together in a video for you guys today. So I'm going to get started with the Topshop stuff and that is definitely where things get seriously autumnal. So the first item is this denim jacket from Topshop and it's got the lovely kind of faux sheepskin um, material on the collar and on the inside. It doesn't go down to the sleeves but it's all around the body and it is so soft and so warm, like so warm in fact I haven't actually been able to wear it yet because it's just so so snuggly but I can't wait for it to get colder so I can wear this. I'm trying not to wish the warmer weather, warmer weather, away too much by wanting to wear this. But it just looks and feels so so lovely and a girl I know called Olivia actually prompted me to buy this because she has one hair. Uh, YouTube and blog is Olivia's Wardrobe, I will link it up below. I love her, she is just the sweetest person ever and she has one of these and I saw her wearing it and I was like okay, need that in my life. Next up we have this knitted jumper from Topshop and I love this. I saw it in store and tried it on and the reason that I love this is because when I tried it on, I tried it on in an eight and the arms are lovely and fitted and they fit just perfectly but the body is seriously slouchy and usually I have to size up to get that kind of slouchy kind of body but actually it's kind of just made in the way that it's more fitted on the arms and more slouchier on the body and I just find that this is just the loveliest fit for me anywhere. I usually find that um, Topshop jumpers can be just cling to all the wrong places on me and I look very round on top which is seriously not the case so I love this and I've been getting so much wear out of this already even though it's not actually really warm enough yet. I've kind of been wearing this around the house when it's cooler and I just love it so so much. Another one of those things where I can't wait for it to get colder so I can wear it but again trying not to wish the warmer weather away too much. And then we have the one token almost summery thing out of this haul. It's this midi skirt from Topshop and it's got kind of a lace uh, material and I just really love this. I bought this to wear to my friend's wedding a few weeks back and I wore it with a grey off the shoulder crop top from Topshop as well. Don't know where that's gone, it should have been part of this haul but I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> But I love this and I thought it would be one of those things that I would wear once as part of my outfit for the wedding and I would never wear again but actually I've worn it so much to work which is really super surprising but I've been wearing it with crop tops like stripy crop tops, blue crop tops, black crop tops, all of the above and I am just loving it. It's so so gorgeous and I'm actually surprised at how everyday it can look. I just wear it with kind of some black flats or sandals if it's really warm and it just looks so so pretty. I do feel a bit like my nan dressed me but... And then we move on to hats and I bought this gorgeous kind of terracotta -y, brown tan coloured fedora from Topshop a few weeks ago and I just love it. It's got a really gorgeous kind of feather detail on the side and it is just so so cute. I love it. And they're really good for autumn because you can't quite wear the woolly hats yet but actually these keep your head really lovely and warm so I've been loving these so so much and I'm really sorry if you can hear my neighbour doing gardening right now that's really really annoying stop it. I've been loving this hat so so much and this isn't quite where the hat loving stops. I've got major hat hair now I am aware but I bought another hat and this one is from ASOS and it's much much wider and much much floppier but I just love it. It's kind of like not everyday appropriate like if you get on the tube wearing this hat you are going to invade someone else's personal space but I just, I love it. It's not an ASOS own brand hat, it's actually by a designer on ASOS, so it was a little bit more expensive than the majority of their hats, however they do have their own ones of these. I just thought that this one looked like the nicest out of all of them, and I just love this. I love wearing it with a black crop top and my lace uh, Topshop skirt and just some black flats, and I just think it looks so, so cute. If not a little bit mental because it is so, so wide, but I just think for really lovely sunny days, like if you want to keep the sun off your face, this is actually perfect. And I think it just helps make a really plain outfit a little bit more interesting if you want to kind of keep it monochrome. And then we move on to shoes, and I've bought a lot of shoes, I'm not going to lie. There are three pairs of shoes here. I kind of realised after 
um, we moved that a lot of my shoes had just gotten a bit mouldy and gross because our last flat was really incredibly damp, like it was disgusting. And um, consequently my shoes, a lot of them had to be thrown away because they were just so gross and now there is a massive shoe void in my life. I am really struggling to kind of get dressed in the morning because I can't tie everything up into like with shoes, if that makes sense, that sounds really, really weird. But it just, I find they complete an outfit and when you don't have the right pair of shoes, it's like, I don't know what to wear. And thank God I have Birkenstocks because that's all I've been wearing recently. But the first pair of shoes I bought were these black flats and I think these are the ASOX, the ASOX? <laughs> These are the ASOS Maddox shoes, and I think that's what they're called anyway, I'll link them up below, I'll link everything up below. Um, and these are really gorgeous, kind of moccasin, boat style-esque shoes, but with a slightly more feminine shoe shape. And these shoes would be gorgeous if it weren't for the fact that they were so hideously uncomfortable. They are basically ripping the skin off the back of my feet, and they're also very thin in shape, so if you have thin feet, thin feet, that's really hard to say. If you have thin feet, you will get along really, really well with these, but I actually don't. Mine are definitely more normal to maybe slightly wider, and these are very kind of like tight on my feet. But I'm just gonna wear massive bed socks whilst I wear these around the house and hope that they stretch out a bit, because they are that kind of material where I think they will stretch out. They just need a little bit of loving. Um, and they were also really affordable, I think they were like 20 or 25 pounds, which is really good. Um, although I will probably buy a more expensive pair, just because I think you should kind of invest in um, your everyday kind of black flats, because they will just last you forever if you invest in a good pair. And these are kind of a suede material, so these aren't going to be brilliant for when it's kind of slightly more wet weather, so I need to invest in a good leather pair. But until then, these are amazing autumn shoes, I just think they're gorgeous. and. We just need to, you know, get on, break each other in, and then we'll we'll be friends. Yeah. And then we have another pair of everyday black flat-ish shoes, and these are the ASOS Royale boots. I think they're the Royale boots. I can't remember. There were two that I was toying between, and I can't remember which one these are. I will link them up below, like I said. And these are basically ASOS's this year version of the ones I had last year, which I think were the Adverse boots. And they lasted me so well. They're still going, but they do need a reheal. So I thought in the meantime, I'm just going to buy a backup pair that I can wear for now. And these are actually really lovely because they're slightly thinner in um, shape. So they're just a lot less clunky um, and just slightly more feminine than the Adverse boots, which I really like. And they're just gorgeous and really beautifully made. I think they've got a slightly higher heel than the ones I wore last year as well. Um, and I just really do love these. They're really affordable. I've said really about a million times, but I really love these. <laughs> I think um, they were quite affordable as well, they were over 40 or 50 pounds, which for a good pair of winter boots, you can't really argue with that. I just think that these are great. And then my final pair of shoes were a slight splurge, and I fully blame Amelia. I'll link her YouTube channel up below. I've got so much love for her. She posted these on Twitter, and she has to take full responsibility for my buying of these because I saw them and I just had to have them and I tried to buy them online, they didn't have my shoe size in stock and I went into the Oxford Street top shop and they had my size, the last pair, in stock and I was kind of like, they are coming home with me, I'm not leaving without them and they seem to be quite comfortable so far, they're kind of like a dupe for I think some acne boots that came out a few years ago which then Whistles did a copy of and Office did a copy of and New Look did a copy of and now Topshop have done theirs and these are just stunning. They've got like a black bar on the heel, which is interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of like not sure about that at first, but it's growing on me. And then it's got the gold detailing on the buckle and this little strip here, which I think just adds a nice different bit of detail to the shoe. And they're just gorgeous. I know I'm gonna scuff these so badly, but I just can't wait to get wearing them. I think these are gonna be kind of like my smart shoe, my smart winter shoe kind of thing. They're just gorgeous and I love them a lot. Please don't hurt my feet because you cost too much money to not wear. So that is it for my haul today. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend and I will see you guys maybe on Wednesday, no Thursday, Thursday <laughs> for another vlog maybe if you're lucky. If I don't fall asleep on the couch every night this week. I can't make any promises, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.